Hey everybody, so welcome back to the channel and before we get into the video, I am testing out a new mic for this so hopefully it works well. However, the topic for this video, it, it really hurts my head. I mean, it's gonna kill some brain cells. We are all aware of TikTok challenges. Like, I mean, how can we not forget something as entertaining as the flexibility challenge where we watched thousands of girls fall flat onto their bedroom floors with their feet stuck in their hoodies. Also, how could we forget the infamous coronavirus challenge where we were introduced to an airplane licking toilet seat girl? Yeah, that girl. She also popped up on Dr. Phil, I think. But also the crazy blackout challenge where the Italian girl tied a belt around her neck and then blacked out. Luckily, they rushed her to a hospital, so overall it was a happy ending and hopefully a life lesson learned for that girl. Unless she did too much damage due to blacking out, because then, well, it's a bad situation there from there. Now, recently, this week, these TikTokers really, and I mean really, stepped up their game with these challenges. So last week, a TikTok challenge started trending, and, well, it started to stir up panic across America. Because, well, what could cause sort of panic across America other than terrorism and, you know, school shootings? What on earth could do this? What a horrible thing from TikTok could possibly put America into panic? Yeah, it, it was school shooting threat. So, yeah, this was the most idiotic TikTok, TikTok challenge, TikTok, TikTok challenge yet. The challenge required individuals to make school shooting and bomb threats on TikTok. I, I'm just fucking dead, really. Honestly, if our future relies on these individuals, we're fucked. I mean, how many glue sticks do you really have to sniff to take part in a trend like this? Like, God damn, we have no hope left as a race. Fuck me, honestly. I mean, why would you do this? especially in America. Why would you threaten a school shooter online? They have every goddamn phone and IP address tapped and are constantly looking for shit like this. It gives them fucking funding, man. But also, it's fucked because there's like school shootings every fucking week in America. Ah, oh, if something comes around that is more ridiculous than this fucking challenge, God help us. So this challenge ended up causing the shutdown of schools in California, Minnesota, Missouri, Texas, and schools in Arizona, Connecticut, Illinois, Illinois, I've always had a hard time saying that state, Montana, New York, and Pennsylvania all had to beef up security because of this fucking challenge. I mean, it wasn't even a month ago since the Oxford school shooting, which took the lives, unfortunately, of four individuals and left others seriously injured. So, like, why the fuck would you joke around with this sort of trend? Who starts this sort of thing? God, you have to be honestly just brain dead to think this is a good idea for a clout. Everyone nowadays wants to be internet famous, but it's really how you get to become internet famous that really defines you. I mean, you can take, like, the Nick Avocado route and eat a bunch of fucking food. But no one really like has respect for that dude. It, he's like a lol cow. It's funny to watch him do it. So like, do you really want to get clout for faking a fucking school shooting? What is wrong with you kids nowadays? God. So as you would expect, however, the police did arrest some individuals involved in this trend. Honestly, I don't know how you thought this was going to end well for any of you. Like, if you get arrested for something like this, it is going to have long life repercussions. I mean, every time you apply for a job, school, anything, man, this shit is going to follow you for the rest of your life. <laughs> oh, God, I'm sounding like a boomer, but fuck, kids are just dumb today. In my script, I had the hard R word, but like, you can't say that online, so I went with dumb instead. Ah, oh, TikTok is cancer in my opinion. Everything on that app is this unoriginal, oh God, unoriginal 
or simply just created for shock value. But I mean, like, just go on something like, I don't know, like the gauntlet or something if you want shock value. Like, not faking school shootings, man. How dumb do you have to be? I mean, these people are lucky that no one was actually hurt or shot in this challenge. Because, like, police take this shit so seriously. If they have a suspicion that you are going to go to a school and shoot it, like, they're going to raid your ass, man. They really will. This is, like, I'm saying it in, like, a laughing way. Because it's funny that how dumb some people can be to think that this, like, was funny. I mean, I'm shocked that it gained so much popularity in its own, but also, I'm not shocked because of, like, the internet nowadays. <laughs> oh, I don't even know where to continue from this, because to me, this whole thing is nonsensical. Like, I can't believe a ton of kids did this for, like, fucking clout on TikTok. This is, ah. Oh. This is probably one of the worst things I've seen in a long time. Like, go ride in a shopping cart or blow fire over your ass or something like that. Do drugs. That's a lot more entertaining than this sort of shit. But honestly, from here on, like, I don't really know where to go with this other than I think every kid that took part of this is just dumb. But that is not the word I want to use. <laughs> Thanks for watching this rant. Drop a comment if you like. Please let me know actually your opinions on this subject. If you liked it, like it, subscribe if you want to keep updated with the channel. Peace out everyone, thanks a lot.